hasn't been easy, but some promising signs fueling some better deals. News Channel Line's Ashley Cavaro checking in with local dealership to find out what buyers can expect. When it comes to finding a new car, the ride can be far from smooth. Price is always a concern with the consumer. I've done this 40 years. 40 years ago it was a concern, today it's a concern. But rates seem to be turning around. Just recently, the average price of a new car fell to 47550 That's a 2.6% drop compared to the same time last year. Well, the reason for that is, is the manufacturers are now uh, putting incentives out to create a lower payment or selling price or a buying price for the customer. Prices also seem to be trending downwards for pre-owned vehicles. The average used car price right now is eclipsed twenty-six thousand dollars. That's in a three-year-old vehicle. That's down uh, ten percent from this time last year. But Matthews Hyundai of Syracuse says leasing will always be less expensive than buying. You can traditionally get more vehicle, less money down, and less payment. And by the time you do finance a vehicle for 72 months on a purchase, you can actually lease two new ones in that time period. And there's no shortage of cars on the lot with 10 to 15 vehicles being dropped off every day, something you didn't see last year. We had uh, post-COVID issues, and a lot of that was supply issues with chips and wiring. That has been corrected with the Hyundai franchise and through most of the franchises. You know, with over 200 units on ground and in stock and another 200 on the way, we haven't seen those numbers to, since pre-COVID. The lot remains packed with over 200 cars ready for their new owners. In Syracuse, Ashley Cafaro, News Channel 9.